giving you the inside track on local businesses. This is 13 Inside Track, sponsored by Citizens Energy Group. Welcome to 13 Inside Track. I'm Laura Steele, and today we are joined by our friend Lara O'Brien from Citizens Energy Group. And you guys had a big announcement recently about the Dig Indy Tunnel. And this was a huge milestone for you guys. Tell us more. We did. We were really excited to announce that two more of the Dig Indy Tunnel System tunnels have entered operation. The White River and Lower Pogues Run tunnels together will prevent about 700 million gallons of sewage from entering our waterways annually. Um, and a total of four of the system's six tunnels are now in operation, composing about 17 of the tunnel system's 28 miles. Um, the combined sewer system here in much of Indianapolis collects sewage and stormwater. Mm -hmm. And when the sewers were built many, many decades ago, they were designed to overflow into our waterways during heavy rain events. Mm -hmm. And so the solution to that is that when we have these moderate to heavy rain events, instead of going to our waterways, the sewage will flow into the Dig and D tunnel system where it will be stored until our treatment plants have capacity to treat it. Mm -hmm. It will flow there to the treatment plants. It will be treated and then discharged. And how does this benefit our rivers and our streams around central Indiana? Well, the two newly opened tunnels are continuing the progress we've made since December 2017 when we opened the first 10 miles of the tunnel system from downtown Indianapolis to the county line on the south side. Um, that segment of the tunnel system has already prevented more than 3 billion gallons of sewage from entering our waterways. The newly opened White River Tunnel is about six miles long mm -hmm. um, and it will prevent combined sewer overflows or CSOs from neighborhoods along the White River to downtown Indianapolis. The Lower Pogues Run Tunnel is about two miles long and it will prevent CSOs along Pogues Run from the Brookside neighborhood to downtown. This is fascinating. When will the Dig Indy Tunnel be finished? The entire Dig Indy Tunnel system is slated to be finished in 2025. And once the entire tunnel system is finished and operating, it will nearly eliminate CSOs, creating healthier, more vibrant waterways and improving the community. This is all really great news. How can people find out more if they're watching today? They can visit digindytunnel.com for more general information about the program. They can also visit YouTube, type in Citizens Energy Group and check out a great video about where we've been, where we are now, and where Dig Indy Tunnel System is heading. All right, Laura O'Brien, thank you so much for your time. And if you'd like to see your business featured on 13 Inside Track, all you have to do is email us at 13 Inside Track at WTHR.com. Today's 13 Inside Track was sponsored by Citizens Energy Group.